Have you checked out Change Cars yet? That's the website where you can find your next car because they only list cars from franchise dealers giving you total peace of mind. That's changecars.co.za Maybe a chilly winter morning but guarantee you these Alfa Stelvios are going to be hot once we get them out on the road. And isn't that what really, really counts? And I've got to stop at, of course, the classic Alfa Red. All of them I see the Veloce. Give you more spec just now. But look at these. Look at the front end because this is, of course, what it's all about. The I think it's the Triporto they call it. That triple front end, triple grill with, of course, the triple headlights that we first saw on the Tonales. Lots more coming up just now. We're at the Creation Wines Farm somewhere near Hermanus on the launch of the updated Alfa Stelvio. I'm joined once again by Quintus Kronrod from Stellantis. Quintus, you're actually not from Stellantis anymore, you know that. You're part of Motor Matters nowadays. I but hear you. <laughs> now we're introducing another one of your babies, aren't we? Yes. Let, let's go. It's, a, it's what, what did you guys call it? A minor update, am I right? Uh, motorcycle action. Okay, right. Let's look at the differences, the changes on the car, because that's what really matters here. So take us through a couple of the big changes that, that we can see. So some of the main features, as you can see, the front 3 plus 3 headlights that we basically incorporated from Tonale uh, will be basically be the face going forward for Alfa Romeo. Then, moving over to the side, I don't know... If okay, but hang on, what about the Trilobo? Yeah, the Trilobo was, it was also a very small update, no, it's not a mass, yeah. not, a, not a big, big update, but yes, there has been some okay, so finishing... Uh, the uh, triple grills, as yes. they're called, right. Okay, sorry, I interrupted you, coming around the side. Coming around the side again, uh, so we're moving back to the color or uh, the black arches with side, side skirt as well. From the previous model, the previous one was color coded the same as the car. Okay, and round the back, a little bit of a change round the back, isn't there? Round the back, yes, just a little the different colors in terms of the rear lights that was incorporated as well. Okay, now you at the moment there's only one model in in the range, right? Yes, the Veloce. The Veloce Q4. All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive Q4, all-wheel drive. It's still the two-liter four-cylinder turbo petrol. Yes, 206 kilowatt, 400 newton meters torque. And the eight-speed ZF, ZF automatic box. transmission. Yes. And of course, you've got the Alpha DNA. The DNA. Yes. Yeah. So the dynamic mode. And let me tell you, we we played with it a little bit on the way here. You you switch it into dynamic, you get that little kick up the rear. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Changes the whole dynamics of the vehicle. It does. The performance is amazing. It really is. Uh, Quintus, overall, I mean, they're going to be, there will be a QV coming one of these days, won't there? Yes. Okay. You're not going to tell me anything about it yet? I'm not giving anything <laughs> for at the moment, yes. <laughs> okay. Cool stuff, Quintus. Okay. We're going to look inside and we'll check it out on the road just now. This is such a feeling of deja vu because exactly five years ago in December 2017 I was here at the same spot with the Alfa Romeo Stelvio when it was first launched in South Africa. Now I'm back again on Clarence Drive in the same place with the new facelifted updated version of the Alfa Stelvio and I can show it to you all over again. And we're on the road and guess who I'm driving with? Larry, my friend, how are you yeah, doing, pal? Very good, new moment. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, this new style feels nice, eh? Oh, what a drive, eh? Yeah. I mean, we've done some really twisty turns and uh, some quite dynamic driving. And of course, uh, it's got the DNA um, yeah. drive settings, so yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I think you've got the best of the, uh, the twisty turns, and I must say, yeah, you've got enjoying, yeah. uh, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the second half of the driving. So. Oh, for sure. And they've upgraded the the screen over there and yes. more importantly is the 12.3 inch TFT instrument panel yes. and the wheel over there that's one of the big upgrades on the interior over here yeah. and got to show how these pedals they're not just pedals yeah. they are pedals they as are you would call pedals, pedals. Yeah. yeah so just going back to the screen I like yeah. it that it's 
towards the Marnus right now. I mean, how's this countryside? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we you know we were supposed to do five passes. Yeah. Um, today, and we're probably going to do three. So I'm um, really enjoying it. I'm glad that we met. The sunshine came out and decided to play ball. And um, yeah, absolutely beautiful country. I mean, yeah. that's why we do so many launches in the Cape. Have to do, Laurie. Overall, thanks for driving safely as always. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And, well, you're going to see a bit more just now. Okay, so here we are on the second part of the drive in the yeah. Stelvio, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio launch. Alan? Clarence Drive, one of the classic driving roads in the world, not just in South Africa. You know that, Lawrence? Absolutely. It's an iconic one. Yeah. I mean, around the coast towards Gordon's Bay from Pringle Bay. It really is fantastic. Laurie, this car is pretty pretty much nice, eh? It really is. They've. It just feels better than the old one, would you? Yeah, and of course now you've got the best plumbing drive again. You Hello. Know, are, the, you, are you complaining again? Through the twisty again? and turns that you've got, yeah, no. and of course you've got the best drive again. Oh, well, you know. You know? <laughs> Come on, Alan. You just, you just got to complain today, haven't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Now listen, good company as usual. Thanks, Laurie. Yeah, ac actually, uh, to be honest with you, there's nothing to complain about. We've had a great day. Yeah. The Stelvio has uh, has been stellar mm. and have really enjoyed it. And I really feel it's, it may, I don't know, it just feels smoother, nicer than the previous one. Maybe it's been a while. Yeah. 1.225 1. million, eh? Yeah. Which when you consider that... 1,250,000, no. that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but when you consider the opposition and the category it, it, it uh, fights in, mm. I think it's damn good value for money, quite honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Look, yeah. Uh, it's a quality SUV, it's a premium SUV, and uh, yeah, you know, it can stand up on its own. No, for sure. And I mean, it's smooth, it's comfortable. I've had a lekker drive. Mm. Thanks, Bill. Okay, nice man. one. Take care. So, overall, I think the experience has been good. Quintus? Alpha is Alpha. The Alpha magic is the Alpha magic. You know what Jeremy Clarkson said, eh? <laughs> that you can never call yourself a petrolhead until you've owned an Alpha. Yes. Okay. I have owned one in the past, all right? Okay. You drive them all the time, so I know you're okay on that one. Yeah. But overall, for Motor Matters, he's Quintus Schoenwright, occasionally from Stellantis as well. I'm Eleanor. See you next time. Thank you.